Hey guys, I am Perry Nemroff and welcome back for another Ash vs. Evil Dead interview. We got another one, another great, great one coming your way right now. We have Peppy Sanuga in the studio with us. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. So, you are an Ash vs. Evil Dead newcomer, yes. and I'm not sure if our viewership is familiar with your body of work, so can you just tell me a little bit about yourself, how you got into acting, what kind of stuff you're into, all um, that fun stuff. Yeah, so I am originally from West Africa, Nigeria, and um, I've always wanted to act, so we moved out here when I was 11 years old to Los Angeles with my mom, and I started going on random auditions really random things that led me to other random things ended up going like on a radio cattle call got my first agent that way and um my first i guess role on a tv show like prominent role was on the fosters i recurred on the fosters last year and then i got evil dead this january and then i just wrapped uh, a tv show called famous in love for free form <laughs> so that's mm. my whole spiel Right there. Very cool. Yeah. Not, not a bad lineup there. So <laughs> what exactly do you have to do in an Ash versus Evil Dead interview? Uh, audition, sorry. Whew. Well, in this one, because, you know, I had the car scene and all that. My first yeah. two episodes, I was stuck in this car. So it was very physical and very, there were really no lines. I just had a piece of paper and it was like, you know, the car does this and the car does that. So it was a, my audition was just a bunch of me throwing myself around the car and trying to act like I was in a car and then second guessing myself because I'm not really in a car and yeah it was but it was fun because Evil Dead is it's kind of dirty messy where it's not very technical and so yeah I just dirty it. messy silly crazy silly, crazy go for every it. outlandish word that's what yes. this show is and I yeah. love it you Were can't you fail you just exactly you know, you do it, do it again. <laughs> Were you familiar with the franchise before or I did you kind of just jump into it here I wasn't. I wasn't familiar. Um, I just didn't grow up with it or around it. Um, so I, when I got the audition, all my friends are familiar with it, of course, United States. Smart friends. Smart friends. So they were like, are you crazy? You got you to gotta get this job. So I had a movie viewing session. Um, I watched the first film. I watched the first episode of the pilot um, of the TV show. And then that was all I got to see. But then after, when I got the job, then I really went in for the binging. Hmm. I mean, there's no turning back now. I'm just sort of, I'm a fan. It's such a bingeable film franchise yeah. and such a bingeable series, too. Yes. It's like, it, like I was telling you before, it kills me that the show is only 30, 30 minutes, minutes. But at the same yeah. time, I've binged season one. And it is so much fun just to like blow through those five hours and get it all in one shot. It's almost like you can't not do that because it happens in one or two days you know what I mean it's not like okay a week went by in between episodes you just want to see what happens next honestly when I first got introduced to the show I got to binge it because the first season was already out and now I'm in the show so I already know what's happening with the scripts and I don't know how the viewers wait a week I don't know how you guys <laughs> do it it's impressive Oh, it kills me. Yeah. We, if it wasn't for the after show, I'd probably yeah. be much more stressed week yes. to week. It's just a, a nice release to get to talk about it and exactly. make some predictions. Even though every single prediction I've made for this show <laughs> is pretty much wrong. Uh. Every time I expect my favorite character to be safe or just something to play with in the rules. What? Nope. Nope. Defies my expectations every single week. That's good. That makes me happy. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. If you want you want to get the audience thinking it's something else and then it's just like whoa because that's evil dead it's like in your face right? so well job well done in that respect Thank you. so you watch a little of the films you watch some of the series did you get any expectations going on to the set especially with someone like bruce campbell on set with such a big bold personality are there yeah. nerves involved there oh my <laughs> gosh i was incredibly and we shot in new zealand i don't know if that's public knowledge, but they shoot this series in New Zealand. And I was so nervous. And mostly because I knew that this was a family. This is something that had mm -hmm. been happening before I was conceived, thought of, born. It's scary to walk into something like that. But um, they were so wonderful and so welcoming. And and I was also the youngest one on set. That made me nervous a little bit too. Like, okay, well, would I, who would I hang out with? What if they don't want to hang out with me? But they were, they were so wonderful. And we had, you know, dinner at Lucy's place. And it was, and Bruce is just a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, he's Bruce Campbell. It's, like, oh, it's Bruce Campbell. But he's wonderful and he's really giving. And he comes up to me and tells me, you know, he thinks I'm doing a good job. And 
that's that's very rare i think he was very kind so i appreciated that do you remember your first introduction to him on set did does he come up and just casually introduce himself as like a normal guy i can't imagine him doing any kind of introduction except what i see at like cons where he's just big and crazy and super loving no you know what it's funny because that that is what you would think but Bruce has a way of balancing um, professional and personal. He's a very different Bruce when he's on set. Because not only is he an actor, but you have to remember he's an executive producer. He's, he's the boss. So you, you have, a, when I first met him, I met him on our first scene. Um, it was the scene where we had this in the sheriff's station. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, such a good episode. I know. Such a that good was episode. a good episode. So, Every single time. I'm like, that's a great episode. No, that's my favorite. I don't, know. There. It I don't was, know. It was awesome. But <laughs> he introduced himself to me. He come, he's like, hey, I'm Bruce. And um, it was super casual and nice. But when you see him outside of work, he's, you know, he's with Ted. It's like, hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's professional. And yeah. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the car. Episodes. Three, three in particular, I guess, because that's kind of like your first big introduction. <gasps> I mean, half the episode is you riding around in that car. Yeah. So what we see in the final episode, I really, not that I expected the, the production value on the show to ever be low, but something like that looks like only a big show or a big movie can pull off a visual like that. So what does that car with the flames look like when you're driving around on set? It looks just like it does on the show and I'm not kidding I'm not kidding this I'd never done a show like this where everything is exactly what it is and just like you said it every day I looked around and I said I'm practically on the set of a blockbuster huge budget movie right now it was it was crazy and um you know they had hydraulics on the car to give the effect that I'm moving it's not it, nothing is fake nothing is pretend that we're doing this and we're doing that. It's like, no, we're going to show you his arm being ripped off. You're going to react to that. So, yeah, it's all real. If money goes into it. It's it's incredible. Are you squeamish at all with the blood and no. all the gore? Okay, because no, there's some pretty incredible, especially <laughs> in episodes three and four, there's some yeah. great kill moments there. Yeah. yeah, you know what saves us, though? We don't ever get to see it. So remember the part where his head is, like, being drilled off by the oh, tire? Yeah. I didn't see that. So I just had to imagine that kind of stuff um, because that's a whole nother shot. But where my, where my boyfriend actually falls on the screen and that gets brutal. It's emotionally brutal, but not, not like ugh, gory, you know. I love that stuff. I love the blood. I love the goriness and yeah. Well, you're on the right show then. <laughs> right, on the right track. All right, now we're gonna move on to the big episode and everybody knows we talk spoilers in these interviews. So if you're not caught up on Ash vs. Evil Dead, particularly episode eight, this is your last warning. It's the exit. All right, <laughs> if you gotta go out on this show in any way, it's as a damn deadite. At what point did you find out, you know, your character story was coming to an end and you were going to be able to finish it that way? Well, because I wasn't ever a series regular, I had a set amount of uh, episodes I had to do on my contract. So I kind of knew, okay, I've done four of these now. Maybe this one is coming up. Um, but I didn't know <laughs> I was going to go out like that. And when I read it at the table read, it was like, what? <laughs> what? It was the craziest dead eye I've ever seen. Because do you she's, go full dead eye at the table read, or is it you know tone it I down do until you hit the set? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> we we have fun. We have been doing the voices, and everyone has fun at the table reads here. But on set, of course, it's when you get in the hair and you get in the makeup. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, I I became possessed. I'm just gonna say that because when you're in it, you just do the the screaming and the it's. Do you get any say in your deadite look? Because we've seen a variation of them, and just in terms of, you know, I don't know if you call it decay or whatnot, but what kind of look they have. So is there mm -hmm. any kind of, you know, pick and choose or development in that process? No, not really. It's pretty basic. They have um, a whole incredible team in New Zealand who makes the deadite stuff, who there's a whole process before it even gets to the actor where at that point there's no need to even what and when you're dead eye, it's not like oh maybe i think she would wear pink lipstick instead of red lipstick it's like mm, no you're just a dead eye and you're and that's okay oh god yeah <laughs> <laughs> well and yeah no that's pretty you appropriate yourself and it's, yeah yeah. So now how about on set with the physicality of a role like that? What, like, what kind of direction does the director for that episode give you? Just wild. 
and crazy and do whatever you want to do. And um, my my direction, um, the thing I had most problems with was being uh, the stunts part of it. Mm -hmm. I had a really stunts girl, Jackie, who you know did the most part. But when I had to like do the, the physical things, that's a little tough. So it was more getting um, looking posy and and badass without looking pretty because you are dying and it's like oh so it was more about you know getting aggressive and getting mm. hmm. yeah oh was, boy yeah all right so your time on the show has come to an end is there any special memory from the making of this series that you were a part of that you are going to take with you and never forget well first of all on a serious note i will just say the shooting the series the whole experience being in New Zealand, working with these actors who are, you know, legends, um, did something for me personally as an actor and being a young actor, um, taught me lessons, the way to act, the way to treat people, the way to be respectful and get respect in the way that I want respect. I just learned a lot of lessons that way. But on a fun note, I do have a fun story that happened Ooh. when I was shooting my Deadite scene. So, we had two cameras going, and we shot this episode in a mental hospital. This is a mental hospital that New no Zealanders... I know. <laughs> no big deal. It's, it's closed down because there have been reports of ghosts, and it's legit. New Zealanders are like, wait, you're going there to shoot there? That's not okay. So we shot here, and we had two cameras going when I did this fight scene with Ray, and um, the director wanted me to like sort of shove him and then do this like really gnarly scream like ah at him. So when I do this, it gets really quiet on the set and everyone goes, what just happened? All the camera crew, they're like, did you see that? What just happened? And we're like, what's going on? Apparently there was a ghost flash that happened through one camera and everyone's like, okay, well maybe someone took a photo when that was happening, but it should happen on the second camera because they're just right next to each other. Mm -hmm. But no, it literally looked like someone just ran past this camera and not the other one. And we were, we were free, but it wasn't scary. It was sort of like, I felt like, ah, oh, they're like patting me on my back. They're like, <laughs> they're like, she's got the ghost thing down. We like this girl. <laughs> I, I like your weird. mentality. <laughs> I would find some sort of positivity and experience like that as well. <laughs> yeah, it was like, okay, so the ghosts in here, they think that I'm doing a good job as a dead eye. Okay. I feel like that's a brilliant found footage idea too. I don't know if you're making that, like if you're shooting with two, with two yeah, cameras, like in an actual that. found footage movie, that'd right. be a great scare there. I know, I agree. Got some ideas. All right, so now moving on beyond Ash vs. Evil Dead. You are working on another project, or you might have filmed it already. I'm a big fan of It Follows. So obviously, David Robert Mitchell. I, I've got my eye on him. I think he's only going to do the greatest thing. Yep. And I know his next movie, Under the Silver Lake. Yep. So can you tell me anything about your experience working on that? You know, as a big fan of It Follows, what can I expect from him next? You can expect amazing things from David because... Um, He's so brilliant, and I'm not going to talk about Under the Silver Lake, but I will say, reading the script, I just kept thinking, what does he think about in his day? What does he think about? How do you, how do you think of this kind of stuff? And watching him, it really, you, that, you have that same question. He's just a big question mark. It's genius. It's, it's it's wonderful. It follows was like this, but Under the Silver Lake, he's gonna come in even, he's gonna come in even better. It's it's an amazing project. That's that's yeah. my kind of tease right there. Yeah. And I know you're working with a great ensemble with yeah. that one as well. So yeah. you're you're really surrounding yourself with the right people at this yeah. point. Yeah, I feel really lucky. I feel really lucky. And I had, I'm actually a fan of It Follows. I had seen the movie before, you know, even auditioning for this or anything. So when things like that happen. I feel lucky and I feel like everything has a place in the world and it's supposed to, everything has, you know, a time and a place because the fact that I'm even working with David is, it's mind blowing. Going from Evil Dead, getting to say, I was just in New Zealand with Bruce Campbell to saying I'm working with David, Robert Mitchell, that's. Yeah. As a genre lover, that's just like a dream come true <laughs> career path to me. You're so you're gonna love it. Gonna I can't. I'm it. counting down. Yes. Huge congratulations to you on the show, on everything you're working on. I'm so excited to see everything you do from here on out. Thank you for being here Thank today. You so much, Greatly Barry. appreciated. Thank you. Thank you guys as always for watching. You know what to do. You can catch 
Ash vs. Evil Dead After Show on the Collider Videos YouTube channel every single Sunday night after the episode wraps up. Again, thank you guys for being here, and until next time, keep it groovy. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.